MX400 at West Point is unique in that it is a integrative capstone experience that integrates all of the programs at West Point. In classes like philosophy, American politics, behavioral science and leadership, law, military science, integrates all of those into this capstone course so they can reflect on everything that they've learned here at the academy. I think that's valuable. It's incredibly important when we think about it. If I look back 30 plus years, I don't recall a capstone course that brought all these different disciplines together as we look at their transition from being a cadet to the Army and, and really what it means to be a lieutenant and officer in our profession, the profession of arms. It takes experiences from the military program, the academic program, and the character program and combines them into a coherent whole so that each graduate has an opportunity to think about what it means to be in a profession, what's going to be required of them to navigate the complexity of modern warfare, and then the requirements of moral leadership, the moral obligations that come with a commission and service as an officer are very serious, and so this is a chance for them to wrestle with those ideas through a series of pretty complicated case studies that are woven throughout the course. The great strength of the American officer is our ability to outthink our opponents. And what MX400 does such a good job of is teaching our cadets how to think and not what to think. Not to, not to see things in some binary fashion, but to embrace the ambiguity that so much defines the modern battle space. They're getting reps at leadership and they're reflecting on it before they actually have to go through it. They're that just much more ready the day they commission. And they have all that responsibility and our Army so much better for it. In MX400, you watch these cadets transition over the four months, firsties in their last year. They start to make that connection between the professional Army ethos and what it means to be a commissioned officer and what their role is expected to be. And over the time of MX400 and being the instructor and watching that transition happen, it is extremely special and rewarding to be a part of that. Having instructors that interjected their own experiences while guiding the conversation allowed us to develop our own understanding of what our leadership style looks like. It's taught me that there's a lot of responsibility in being an officer that is entrusted on us from civilians for their families who are in our care. It's more than just being a manager per se, it's being responsible for people. It allows them to focus on what it means to join our Army profession. It focuses on the moral dilemmas they're gonna face it focuses on the profession. This is not a job that they're in, it's a profession. And what it means to lead in this profession and the consequences of leading in this profession. I graduated West Point in 2020. I was serving in the 82nd Airborne Division as a fire direction officer when I got activated on a no-notice deployment to Afghanistan. Day one, when there was a lot of people on the flight line and we were being overwhelmed by the forces there, and I started getting a call from one of the guard towers from my soldiers saying they were being overrun. So when we got on the scene, we could see there was a massive infill of people, but more so what was alarming was there was about 30 Taliban fighters, about 150, 200 meters in front of us. And we can make positive identification. They had RPGs, AKs, PKMs. And so I took the radio, called the three Ds to the battalion talk, and they came back with, hey, engage a target. I really did think back to my time in MX400 because I remember we did different case studies. We discussed the ethics and how some of the decisions that troops had made in the past had deteriorated the relationship with the local population and jeopardized their overall mission. So from that lens, I started thinking about what the impacts of this would be. So I ultimately radioed back, negative, wasn't gonna take the shot, and it ended up being the right decision. You are gonna find yourself in situations that you didn't train for, that you couldn't have prepared for, and you're gonna have to execute. We bring together experts from across various disciplines to teach, uh, but also to offer up experiences, knowledge, and to apply it in today's operational environment so that we are developing the leaders of character who are gonna graduate from here and go into the operational army to, uh, to exercise all of that, that knowledge and experience. Because the army profession is anchored on the army ethic, that ethic is challenged consistently all the time and we need leaders who have the understanding and the commitment and the character to provide that moral leadership in these complex battlefields. To a new cadet, I'd say MX400 is this culminating experience 
30 lessons of everything you kind of touch on in philosophy, PL300, your MS100, 200 classes, and meshes them all together into some aspect of a real world application of what you've learned in your three years here at the Academy. It's challenged me by making me think less in black and white. I know now that not everything is so simple. There's complicated situations that I don't know since I wasn't there. For example, I thought that this job, being an officer, is not as much of a profession that I do now because of the class. It's really challenged my perspective on that. The entire modern battle space is so ambiguous, it's so complex, it's so uncertain that we need to prepare young officers to be able to be not just successful but comfortable in that space and MX400 does that by forcing them to take all of the academic program and be able to apply it to certain situations. And in doing so, this is very much about fighting and winning. I would say that your responsibility as an officer is immense because you are making the decisions and you are liable for how the operation goes a lot of times, whether you're the PL or you're the commander. When you're making those decisions, you have to really hone in on the implications of things and take that time to slow down and think because that's what we're there to do. We're there to actually think the scenario through and the further implications, whether that's moral or ethical, but it's that mindset of always doing the right thing and being that north seeking arrow when you need to be in the times that are tough. I want to make sure that all of our cadets when they graduate from MX400, they have internalized this transition from cadet to officer. They know the responsibilities that they're going to accept on graduation day, and they know what it means to lead as a United States Army officer. The responsibilities and the consequences, but also the joys of this profession that they're about to enter.